Okay. Good. Now, take two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just uh, uh, recorded, but I didn't press the red button, so we didn't uh, record. Right. <laughs> Hi, Brian. Hi. How are you doing? Uh, good. How are you doing? I'm doing very good. Very good. Uh, the sun is shining, and uh, we have a cold weather here in the sun. Yeah. But you haven't tasted that yet because you were on a bus from Costa, just arrived. Uh, how, how, what, where's your thought about that game? So? I mean, it was a good game. Um, you know, kind of, was, we had a nice goal from Janzek to put us up 2 1, but uh, it would have been nice to hang on to it for three points. They tied up late, and then we kind of get a bad balance off a, of, you know, just a funny, funny shot. It could stick on Puck, let's, uh, just sneaks behind Joe, and then, um, it would have been nice to get the two points, but we end up with one. Every point's important at this point. Uh, so we'll take, I think it was a better game versus the Tuesday game overall for us. So hopefully we can take that into Schleftio now on uh, yeah. Saturday. Tomorrow, uh, Schleftio has been on a very good run. Yeah. I think they haven't lost in like forever. Yeah. Uh, what will be important to, uh, to uh, end their streak? I mean, they're a good team, a little different. Uh, Compared to who we just played, the, the Farstad's a big team transition, but just left to a little smaller speed, skill. So I think we just need to uh, play how we play, limit our turnovers, because if we turn it over, they're going to come back right away, and they have uh, some good forwards that can put the puck in the net. So as long as we can kind of control the game, maybe have a little more puck possession than they do, uh, and just limit their offensive opportunities, and especially on the power play. So if we can stay out of the box, I think we'll put ourselves in a good spot to win. Yeah, because um, we talked about it before we recorded how there's been a lot of games in short, mm -hmm. uh, short time. And going into next week, we have a little break. Uh, is it nice to have that break or how do you feel? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's nice to have it, but at the same time, it's, it's good to stay kind of the swing of the season. Um, you know, we had a little break with our Corona stuff and then a few games getting canceled here and there with other teams having their uh, Corona issues. So. It's kind of been a little bit of an inconsistent season schedule-wise, so it would be nice to kind of stay in the rhythm with games, but it is nice too. We had three games this week, and then it just falls perfect that we get a week off next week, so we can go out and play extra hard against left field because we don't have really anything to see. we got all week to kind of prepare for the for the following week. Yeah, and uh, the week after that, the the games will come mm -hmm. with, short no with short notice in between them, and we're in a very important part of the season. Yeah, Every point counts. Uh, what's your feeling looking forward to the ending of this season? I mean, it's exciting. I know it's a tight race, kind of even from 14th to 10th. It's not even about who's going to be in the bottom two. It's who even can get into that kind of playoff spot. I know kind of Drew Garden dropped down a little bit too after the after they've kind of been struggling somewhat. So you can even get into the ninth, uh, the ninth seed. So I mean, this last month's going to be exciting with just this. It's a tight bottom race, and you never know. Uh, I know Brina still has a bunch of games to make up. Almost still have some games make up, so we're just kind of a little bit of limbo with them and how they how they will do. You always have to assume that they're going to win those games. So yeah. right now we're kind of in a tough spot because uh, we have more games played and they're only up three to four points behind us. So it'll be an in inter interesting few weeks. Yeah, uh, in the beginning of the season when you talk to players and coaches, they always say we never look at the stands; we only play our game. Do you? at this part of the season start to look more at the stands or? Uh, just to kind of get a feel for it. I mean, you don't really look too into it. Whether you win or lose, it's it's kind of up to you. I, it's nice we're still in control of our own fate. So if, if we win games, we don't have to worry about what the other teams are doing. But I think you look at it a little more when, you know, you kind of you have a chance to get three points like we did last night. We end up only getting the one. And so you kind of just look and see like, OK, how, how the other teams that are doing around the league. So as long as they're kind of limiting their points, then it's uh, nothing to worry about too much. Yeah, and the coaches talk about uh, the team going into playoff mode and uh, that sharpens the psychology of uh, every game and every game, uh, every point counts. And as we stand right now, you played like 25, 26 minutes last night and you've gotten a lot of play time. Mm -hmm. How do you look at your own performance and um, time on the ice? I mean, if you're going to be putting that much time on the ice, you got to make an impact, whether offensively, defensively. So with Nolan being gone, I got a little, more, a little bit more power play time, and that's kind of we had a tough power play against Farstad last night. So I think we can hopefully pick that up against Leftio. So, uh, but overall, it's it's been good. It's nice kind of getting a little bit more flow of the game when you get the higher minutes. Uh, but then the pressure of that you need to 
be contributing more uh, to the team and helping win. So I think it's been going good. Guys have been getting a little bit of rhythm. Uh, I think most of our defensemen back there have a good idea of the role that they play and the situations that they're going in. So it allows Jeff to put us out and, and uh, each situation to succeed. So I think things have been going really well. Yeah. And um, looking at the whole season, we've had a real good uh, power play and penalty mm -hmm. killing. How important do you think that is uh, going into the last part of this season? Uh, really important because last night we didn't, they scored a power play goal and then we, we did not. So it's kind of, that's always a difference. And now that we are in that little playoff bubble that Flander keeps talking about, like special teams becomes an even more important thing. Uh, it's just kind of make or break, especially in, in a tight uh, offensive league like the SHL. It's, if you can take advantage of the power play, I think you're going to put yourself in a good position to win. Yeah. Uh, and enough uh, hockey talk. How do you like uh, your life here in Oskarshamn? You've been here for almost a year now. Yeah, it's been good. I mean, like you said, it's nice cold day today, but a little different than kind of the rainy gloom that we had kind of before Christmas. So, I mean, especially being up in Umeå and born and raised in Alaska, I like the snow and yeah. a little more cold better than the kind of gray gloom. So the last few weeks have been really nice here. And yeah. I think we've been kind of lucky with Corona stuff, a little smaller town. You're not missing out as... Uh, as much stuff and we've been able to kind of do a little more normal life uh, yeah. here in Oscar Sham as compared to else place that might be a big shock. Yeah, that definitely. Uh, valid points. And uh, your dog, <laughs> that's your uh, dog yeah. feeling? Callie, I think it's yeah. called, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Doing all right? Yeah, she's doing great. I mean, she, I mean, she loves the snow, so when you got the 30 <laughs> centimeters or so, she was loving it out there. I mean, it's kind of tough. She likes being outside. She likes the cold. Chasing, blowing, blowing snow, blowing leaves, whatever it is. So, I mean, it kind of gets a little tough when you're outside for 10 minutes and it's minus 10. You just want to go inside and she just wants to sit out there and people watch. But, I mean, she's enjoying it. She's an outdoor dog and she appreciates us being home more than we normally would be. Yeah, nice. And uh, last question. Uh, I know you have predicted uh, the score uh, to your run on the written article. But yeah. have you changed your opinion there? Uh, no, I think I'll stay with uh, a 4-2 win for us. Okay. Nice. Good luck tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.